What's up, everybody? This is Chris, and this is my channel, Barn on Eleven Nine Seventy. And as always, thank you for taking the time to hear what I have to say. And um, time and time again, I've received comments from people, and thank you for them. I don't always have time to respond to everything because I get a lot of comments and emails, and I have more than one channel. The other one has nothing to do with this, so that's why I don't mention it much here. But I get a um, question over and over again is how we get out of this system. And it's very simple. It's basically when people stop accepting the minor amounts of tokens that they give us that they can use in the trillions, basically almost in infinite amount. And that's why you see things like the Federal Reserve not produce anything or make anything or sell anything or manufacture anything other than numbers. So while we get a couple of hundred, maybe a couple of thousand, maybe even tens of thousands of these tokens, we cannot compete with them because they have an unlimited supply. And that's why you see time and time again as the years go on, businesses, even large businesses, start to fail because they cannot compete. Just imagine if you were playing Monopoly and you had, let's say, a million dollars of Monopoly money. And you were going against a, pro a player who could write any amount of money he wanted. Well, you would be in the game for a while, but eventually you would lose because when they have unlimited funds, it doesn't matter if they throw a couple of million into something just to throw you out of business. And that's why economies end up collapsing over time, is the greedy people at the top always want more and more and they involve more and more people to help them and of course nobody works for free and eventually it gets to a point where it just collapses in on itself it's like a deck of cards if you try and build a tower of cards it can only go so high before it falls in on itself so until we stop accepting these trinkets these little amounts and there are people who have been stalking my channel for over five years now dedicated to my channel alone to try and quote unquote expose me when if you have even half a brain you could go and watch my videos and see that I'm not trying to make money off of people yes I sell Oregon pyramids but I don't exactly put guns to people's heads the people who buy them are people who want to get them and not only do I sell them I teach people how to make them so if they don't want to purchase from me they can make it themselves that's not really trying to take advantage of people but there are people out there who get paid to stalk several different people's channels or focus on one particular channel and spend years doing the same thing over and over again. And they get paid the same amount of trinkets as some people do. But the thing is, those don't last forever. Throughout history, can anybody name a currency that is still valid today that was around a thousand years ago? How about a hundred years ago? You don't see many these days. It's because they eventually fail. So when it comes to how do we get out of the system, the idea is not to play in it. And unfortunately, the majority of people are so indoctrinated with lies and given these trinkets and given the lifestyle of distraction and having fun that it becomes their priority. In other words, they say things like, oh, don't ruin my good time. Oh, it's a downer that you speak the truth. When is speaking the truth supposedly a bad thing? And these days, people see it as a burden. It's like, why are you bothering me with this downer stuff when I have a Super Bowl to watch or I have the latest Hollywood gossip and the latest fashions to pay attention to? And I kind of equivalent it to um, somebody having a dream. And I think I've said this before in videos. But just imagine somebody asleep and having the best dream of their life. And you walk in because you see their house on fire. And you wake them up. And they don't know what's going on. The first thing they're going to do is, you know, what the hell are you doing in my house? It's 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. I was having a great dream. You know, what are you doing? And they get mad at you. Because they don't see what you see. And I've seen over the years some of the hatred I've gotten and some of the accusation based on chop-up videos and assumptions and taking one or two things out of context or just making their own assumptions based on something that they assume that I meant. 
but it all boils down to what are we willing to sacrifice? And if people are going to think of the truth as a burden, well, you kind of reap what you sow. And I've gone through lots of transformations on this channel. I mean, I went originally just, my original channel, Barn on 11967, which I took down because the trolls did get to me and I didn't know any better back then. Um, that was primarily just, it originally started out just showing some silver and gold coins I had. And then all of a sudden I started finding out about the manipulation of the gold and silver. Then I started learning a manipulation about the government and so on and so forth. And you go through an emotional roller coaster. But the beautiful thing about a roller coaster is even the scary parts are fun. Because if you are on a roller coaster that just went 500 feet down a straight path at 5 miles an hour, how much fun would you have? And would you go on it again? I certainly wouldn't. So until the masses understand the scheme, the lie, yes, you will make money. I'm not here to say, oh, you know, you can't make money being part of their corrupt system. But if you think if there's a collapse that they're going to give a damn about you and your couple of hundred thousand, maybe even a couple of million, when they have unlimited funds, you are going to be on a sinking ship that may not sink as fast as others, but make no mistake, you will be underwater just like the rest. And they take advantage of those people by handing them a couple of carrots, which ultimately serves for them to become wealthier and wealthier. Just look at the numbers. Look at how many millions of people just in the United States of America Corporation alone are filing for bankruptcy, who are on welfare or some kind of government program, while the quote-unquote leaders who look the other way get paid lots of money and become wealthier and wealthier. There is a large separation. And throughout history, the reason for riots... And the reason for rebellions and civil wars has to do with the fact that when you have everything taken away from you to the point where you're fighting for your survival, that's when you'll wake up most of the time. The trick is to wake up before that becomes necessary, where you have no choice. And until the masses stop worrying about such minute things. Who cares? I mean, yes, I'm sure Justin Bieber might be a great person. I don't know him, nor do I care to, but I don't want to spend my time learning about what he's doing each day. Yes, it must be nice to be in quote-unquote style. All that is is getting the insecurity of people by saying, if you buy my product with my name on the back end of it, you'll be cool and one of us, part of the tribe. All you're doing is making some company lots of money based on your own insecurities. They know how to feed off of that. That's why commercials are all about your wants, needs, your wants and desires. Because the things that you have to have are not very exciting. I mean, the things that you want to have are not very exciting, but the things like beer, why do you think they put supermodels all over beer commercials and parties and having a great time? Because you associate that product with the good time. It, it works on your emotions. They do the same thing in the stock market. If the Dow Jones was at eight points right now, would anybody be talking about it? But the fact that it has been near record highs, that's all they talk about. I mean, I even fell into the same trap when it came into gold and silver, when it started getting too low, and I, I, I primarily left because I was just, I, I don't know how many times I could say the same thing over and over again. It gets a little redundant at times. But when the prices are high, everybody's talking about it. When the price was low, everybody disappeared. But isn't that supposed to be the best time to invest in something? Buy low, sell high? But they trick us with the, the emotional part. So people don't want to lose that high that excitement, that fun, even if their house is burning around them, as long as they're having a good time. And that only lasts for so long, because you could have a great time for the next five, six, ten years, but if all of a sudden everything collapses the very next day, and you wake up to find out that your bank account has been closed down, and you have no access to your money, and you can't get your, you know, your next paycheck because they don't accept checks anymore, or your company goes out of business, what do you do? 
and the more people want to riot and fight in the streets, the more laws that they can create to arrest you and put you in jail. Because if you know anything about the 13th Amendment, just in this country alone, you are considered a legal slave in the judicial system if you are imprisoned. The 13th Amendment no longer protects you. And I've talked about the deeper meanings behind things. Like, when you read the 13th Amendment, if you actually go out and get a Bill of Rights pamphlet and read what it says, it talks about slavery as legally defined as involuntary servitude. Which means they can't put a gun to your head and make you do something, but they sure as hell can trick you or bribe you or excite you into giving away your freedoms free will. But until we sacrifice, yes, there are going to be hard times. Sometimes you have to take a step back to make two steps forward. I'm not suggesting this is going to be easy. It's like people have said many times, if you're a heroin addict, you know that you are going to need more and more of it until eventually it kills you. And if you want to stop heroin, you're going to go through some painful withdrawals. That's why you see in any monetary system collapse throughout history, it follows with famine, there's a lot of war, there's a lot of death, a lot of poverty, but it does get better. The people who suffer are the ones who laughed at the people like me and others that tried to help them. So the, the hater trolls that try and stalk me, whether they get paid or not to do it, I don't know, nor do I care. But if all of a sudden all of the money they got potentially paid to stalk me or uh, trolls that stalk other channels, all of a sudden that money is worthless and they can't put food on their table, I bet you they wish they would have had precious metals or other assets to protect themselves then. But what do you do when it's too late? And that's why I've said numerous on numerous va videos, I do not believe in my own heart there will ever be a nuclear war. There would never be a need for one, because as long as the people follow this monetary system of lies and corruption, where the top benefits from the labor of the bottom, and the bottom is the, the 99%, they won't ever need a nuclear weapon. They can control people. You shut off their bank system, they can't use their money, they'll be desperate to do anything. You know, and there are so many fear channels that talk about these FEMA camps. Now, whether they will be true to what the people talk about, I can't say. But if all of a sudden the monetary system collapses and millions of people are without food and water because their currency is no longer valid, they won't have to bring people there by gunpoint. People will be lining up, hoping they win the lottery to get chosen to be in one of those camps. So again, it's not supposed to be fear. It can be scary. The idea is to not let the fear control you. I mean, I, for one, know about that. I've had death threats. I've had people harass me. To this day, they still stalk me. You can't let fear dictate how your life goes. Because if you want to be enlightened in any way, you have to rise above. And think of it, for example, like having a, a TV show. If you're no longer switched to their frequency, it doesn't mean that their frequency doesn't exist. It just means you're not listening to it. So there are different levels. And fear is a choice. And that's why if you turn on the news, which they own, because when was the last time news channels reported and investigated instead of just reading off of cue cards? Because if that was the case, then every channel would have a different point of view. You haven't noticed the channels all have the same thing and almost say the exact same thing it's because they're being told what to say so when it comes to freeing from the system until people worry about what's important for their future instead of the luxuries that they can get today and the distractions they can get today things are not going to change I mean, it's like the days of the Roman Empire. There was a reason why that the Roman Colosseum was at one point open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, free to the public. It's a good way to distract people. There's no difference now than there was then, except for we have more choices to be distracted. 
but it ultimately comes down to choice. If you don't want to ruin your party, and you want to party like it's 1999, or, you know, dance until the day comes, that's your choice. But then when that day comes, if it does come, what do you do then? And if you have family and friends, especially family, if you have children or family that you love, you're doing them an injustice by pretending it will go away. And I always tell people, ignore your teeth. They'll go away. Tell me that's a good thing. So sometimes I ramble, sometimes I talk a lot. It's because I'm just a regular guy who just one day saw the stuff and thought it's wrong and I want to share it in my own way. I'm not a professional. I don't have millions of dollars to make fancy videos. I don't have corporate sponsorship telling me where to go and what to talk about and what to promote. I'm just a person trying to help people in the only way I know how. So is it perfect? Far from it. But is it me? Absolutely. And if some people out there spent more time doing some good instead of trying to spread hatred, this world could potentially be a better place because it does, you don't need billions of people to change the world. If you want to change the world, you got to spread the information. You got to learn about it. You have to pay attention to things. You know, more people out there know the stats of Babe Ruth than they do about their own government system wherever they live. They know more about Hollywood movie stars and what's in fashion than what could save their family's future. Don't be one of those people. Or, well, you can if you want to, but why complain then if that's your choice? You're volunteering your servitude to be part of a corrupt system. So, like I've said, you can make lots of money in this system, but never enough to ever compete with them. If they want you out of the system, they have unlimited funds to do so. Why do you think they bankrupted countries to the point where countries had to give all their resources? Look what they do just to Africa alone. Africa is one of the wealthiest nations as far as natural elements. They have oil. They have diamonds. They have gold. They have platinum. They have lithium. They have water. They have lumber. And God knows what else they have. And yet, it's mainly poor? Why is that? Because we've taken advantage, and with our unlimited funds, and loaning them the currency to put them in debt, they have to give up their assets to, because they can't pay their debts. Look what they did to Greece. I mean, how many writings on the wall do people have to see? And yet, there are still people that will call me the crazy one. I find that utterly hysterical. So if you're listening to this point, thank you very much. Um, like I said, I'm just a regular person. I don't do this professionally. I'm not sitting behind some news desk being told what to say. Yes, it could be shorter, it could be sweeter, it could be more direct, but this is who I am, and that's all I'm going to be. And like my channel says, help you, helping to unite the people one person at a time. In three years, this channel has grown up to over 20,000 subscribers. People who do care. And those are the people that I talk to and I care about and focus on. And those are the people probably still listening. But until the masses start worrying more about these kind of things than some cat video or YouTube drama, which at one point people suckered me into, but lesson learned. Until we reprioritize, they've got us, but they can't keep us forever. The more people that wake up, the, the less that participate, the better you're going to be, the better chances of your own personal survival. Because not everybody's meant to survive, sadly. Don't be one of the people that doesn't. Because I can't guarantee what's going to happen tomorrow, but if you know throughout history, when certain situations that could be as simple as weather patterns or accidents or whatever, your life can change in an instant. And if you're not prepared for these things, there's nothing you can do. So if people, if very few minor people want to hate me for what I talk about, if I ultimately, another two, three, five, ten years from now, ultimately end up being right, 
do you think I'm going to feel good to know that those people might starve to death? I don't have any problem with the, the people that hate me. I wish them nothing but the best for whatever reasons they have to do the damage that they want to try and do, that's on them, not on me. But I don't live to worry about that stuff anymore. I care about those that are here for the right reasons. And if you are, leave a comment. Let me know you watched the whole thing and listened to what I had to say. Tell me your thoughts. Spread the word. Get people to understand that you need to focus on more important things if you want things to change. Because watching the Super Bowl listening to Justin Bieber, caring about the latest fashions and the recent gossip, hearing the BS lies on, on the go government systems, the news media, is not going to get you anywhere you want to be in the long run. So, the decision's yours. But I do thank you for taking the time to listen to what I had to say. If you want to share it, that's fine. Thumbs up are always appreciated. If you want to subscribe to this channel, we'd love to have you here. I don't make as many videos as I used to, and I don't have the ability to comment, reply to every comment anymore because there's just too many for me to handle. But I thank you for being a part of this, regardless of what you do. And I hope to hear you from you. And I thank you. And I wish you all good night. <laughs>